everybody, it's Hexa, and today's video is going to be my March bullet journal plan with me. I am so excited for the month of March. Spring is finally here. We've been starting to have some sunny days in Shanghai. I cannot stand the cold any longer, so I'm so, so excited for spring to finally be arriving. I'm turning 20 this month. Honestly, I have no interest whatsoever in turning 20. I would much rather go back to being 16 and like have a do-over of the last four years, but that's not really a possibility, so we're gonna make the most of it and just hope that 20 and my 20s in general will be good. I hope the 20s for me are a good decade. <laughs> My March bullet journal theme is sunflowers and bees. I wanted to go for something that really like just reminds you of warmer days, of sunny days and warm weather. I know that sunflowers are technically not like a spring flower and I'm pretty sure bees are also not as happy in spring as they are in summer, but <laughs> I just really wanted to go with it. I'm like so excited for the weather to be warming up and I thought, you know, the whole like yellow and orange and all the bright colors would just make me feel really happy and perky. I love the way that the setup turned out this month. Everything is really cute and cohesive. The colors are just bright and happy. I finally feel like I'm getting better at this. I'm actually sticking to my motifs and my theme and my color scheme and everything. Things finally seem to be smooth sailing in my bullet journal, which is great. <laughs> the quote of the month this month is live by the sun, which I happened to find on a drawing of a sunflower while I was looking for source images of sunflowers on Pinterest and I thought live by the sun is actually such a good quote and it's like simple and happy and it just reminds me to go outside every day and like enjoy the sunshine. And the word of the month or the theme of the month as far as my goals this month is discipline because I feel like a lot of the times the reason why I'm not getting better or I'm not like doing the things that I want to do is out of lack of discipline. It's not because I don't have time, it's not because I don't want to, it's just I'm, I'm not disciplined and I, I kind of like lack motivation in a way. So I'm going to try to be more disciplined in March and kind of like force myself to just use my time more wisely and to do things even when I don't want to do them because in the end they're going to be good for me. All right guys, that was it for the intro, so let's dive right in to my March bullet journal setup. So starting off, I'd just like to acknowledge and apologize for the fact that my camera decided to focus on the sunflowers that I had as props rather than on the sunflower that I am painting. But anyways, we'll learn from that mistake and move on. So for my March cover page, I decided to paint a little watercolor sunflower. I'm just using some watercolor cakes from a brand called Symbolion, but you guys can use any watercolor cakes that you have and that you enjoy using. I'm using a darker yellow and a lighter yellow for the sunflower. The darker petals are going to be the ones that are supposedly in the back of the sunflower and the lighter ones will be in the front. I'm using a Leuchtturm 1917 dotted bullet journal and I find that it holds watercolors okay, but you do want to be careful not to use too much water because it will end up wrinkling the paper, so just be aware of that. So yeah, I'm just filling in all of the petals with the two different shades of yellow right here. Next, I'm just mixing the two different shades of yellow to create a good shade of yellow for this little honeybee that I wanted on the cover page as well. Since the theme is sunflowers and honeybees, I had to have a cute little bee on my cover page. I'm using a green for the stalk of the sunflower and the little leaf, of course. And then I'm coloring in the center of the sunflower with a light wash of brown. I didn't want this to be too pigmented just so that the writing would actually show up on it. So after I finished painting everything, I just left it for a while to dry and then went back in with my uh, Sakura Micron pens to line everything. So I used the Micron pen in 0.1 to line all of the 
leaves and the petals of the flower and I kind of wanted it to have a little bit of a messy sort of rustic vibe so I'm not being too careful with the outline of the sunflower. I'm using that same pen just to line the stalk and the leaf as well. And then I went in with a slightly smaller micron pen. This one is the 0.05 micron pen from Sakura to create these kinds of like creases and texture in the petals of the sunflower. And then I'm using the Pigma Graphic Micron Pen number three for the font, just writing March in the middle of the sunflower. I'm going back in with the Pigma Micron in 0.1 for the B and its cute little like trail of how it's flying across the page. So that was pretty much it for the cover page and now we're going to move on to the first spread. This first spread on the left is my brain dump page. I always have my brain dump on the very first page of my bullet journal every month. And for this I wanted to use a header that looks like a honeycomb so I'm pretty much just coloring in my little uh, hexagons of the honeycomb and then lining them with a micron pen again. As far as the colors, I used four different Tombow pens in this bullet journal spread. I have the Tombow dual brush pens in 991, 062, 451, and 243. They are all from the pastel Tombow set. So yeah, for the brain dump header, I just have the little honeycomb and a little honeybee that is just flying across the page and kind of underlining the title. In the bottom left corner of the page, I also decided to draw a little sunflower there because I've noticed that I haven't really been filling up my brain dump pages, so I decided that I wanted it to not look so empty this month. I am using my brown fineliner color graphics from Marabou to line and add details to the center of the sunflower, and I'm using my Pigma Micron pens for the rest. right side as usual the second page of every month's bullet journal spread is my monthly goals page this month is no different I figured I would just go for a simpler title for the March goals just because I couldn't think of anything else to use so I'm just using a Tombow pen for the title and then I used a Marabou orange fine liner for the little boxes and then I'm writing my goals in using a Pigma Micron pen once again if you guys want to find out more about this month's goals, please look out for that video. I do a video at the beginning of every month talking about my monthly goals and why I chose those goals and how I'm going to go about things and all of that. So if you're interested in that, do check that video out as well. Now skip to a little bit of prep that I did. I found this really cute picture on Pinterest while I was looking for source images of sunflowers. It's a piece of artwork and it looks like it's half a sunflower and half of a daisy or a sun depending on how you interpret it but anyways I thought it was really cute and I decided that I wanted to incorporate that as a little piece of artwork on my monthly goals page so that is what I did. I'm just using some watercolor paper and my watercolors from Symbolion again. Um, and so on the left side is the sunflower and on the right is the daisy. I think it's a daisy, but it could also be sunshine. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know.
So the painting didn't take that long. Um, I used pretty much the same color scheme as I did for my cover page and after I was done painting it and I left it to dry, I went back in with some uh, Pigma Micron pens again for the details. You can see me changing my mind about which size I wanted to use for the sunflower seeds in the sunflower half of the painting. I decided to go with size 0.1 and I'm pretty much just drawing a lot of tiny little circles and I tried to make it look a little bit more random because I didn't want it to have too much of a repetitive unnatural pattern. Like I said before, I'm going for a more rustic vintage vibe with the paintings that I'm incorporating in my bullet journal. So as well as with the petals, like when I'm lining the petals, I'm not really paying attention to detail too much. I'm not trying to connect to them very perfectly. I'm just kind of being a bit messy with it. So I used the Micron in 0.1 to do the sunflower seeds and to line the petals and then again I'm using 0.05 uh, for the details and the texture inside the petals as well as for the daisy side of the drawing. Again, I, I just can't put my finger on it. I don't know if it's a daisy or if it's sunshine. The quote that I found with this image is live by the sun but then sun could mean sun as in the other half of the drawing or it could be sun as in sunflower so i guess we will never know but if you want to find the original image of this piece of artwork you can find it on my pinterest which is linked down below it should be in the bullet journal board again i went in with one of my marabou fine liners this is the blue one just to write in the quote so once I was done with that, I cut it out. I'm just figuring out where I want to place it over here and I decided I wanted it on the right side of the page just to fill some empty space and I'm just gluing it in with some regular glue. I used a piece of tissue paper underneath it just to make sure that I got the edges of the piece of paper without like getting glue all over my desk. And the word of the month is discipline, and initially I had wanted to map it out with a pencil, but then I decided it just was not working out. It was way more trouble than it was worth, um, and in the end I decided to just freehand it with the pastel yellow Tombow pen, and it turned out fine. So I'm just writing discipline across the page, and then going in with a micron pen to write it again just because the yellow is really really faint i've never tried this kind of like same word in different fonts kind of thing but it turned out okay moving on to the next spread if you know me you know how much i love teddy bears i have so many teddy bears and what with the honey and the bees theme i could not pass up an opportunity to draw one of these adorable little bear shaped honey squeeze bottles so for my youtube ideas page i decided that for the header i would well the idea was pretty much that youtube was written in honey that was being squeezed out of one of these teddy bear squeeze bottles i thought it looked super cute um it does take a lot of time and effort and precision to do this kind of font if you want to line it uh, but I, I think it paid off it looks really cute I kind of wish I had lined the text in orange rather than black though but now I know for next time so after I was done lining the text and the nozzle of the squeeze bottle I used an orange marabou fine liner just for the details in the teddy bear squeeze bottle On the right side we have my socials page. This is where I track all of my social media posts and my social interactions in general. And I actually really, really love the way that the header turned out for this. The idea was that I wanted to draw a little sunflower for every letter of the word social and use that as my header. So they had to be really small and delicate. Um, and I actually really, really love the way that they turned out. I used my pastel orange and pastel yellow Tombow pens and then I went in and lined them with a 0.05 micron pen. I had to be really careful with this and kind of like work slowly and in sections because I didn't want to like 
smudge my micron pen with a tombow or anything but i also didn't want to uh, do everything like do all of the yellow at the same time because then I would confuse the petals and it would look messy Anyways, it turned out really really pretty and really cute This took a little bit of time, but it was totally worth it And then after I was done lining the sunflowers I used a brown Marabou fine liner for the actual letters inside just because I feel like I was missing the brown in the sunflowers so I tried to add little bits of brown wherever I could. The way that my socials page has been working since the beginning of the year has been pretty effective for me. I split the page up into four sections. I've got my YouTube, blog, Instagram, and personal trackers. I use a different Tombow color to underline every one of the four socials that I am tracking and then in each section I kind of like write out a tiny little at a glance calendar and then whenever I post or whenever I go out and socialize I will just color in one of the squares on the calendar and if there's anything noteworthy that I want to remember about that post or about that day I will write the details underneath the calendar. Anyways, this system has been working really well for me. I do find that there's not that much space to write all the details that I want to write, but I'm working on it. In the meantime, it works for me until I figure out something better. Okay, so now that we've finished with my social spread, it's time to move on to the health-related and lifestyle-related trackers. On the left side, I have my sleep tracker. This one has changed significantly because I used to always, always, always do a sun on one side and a moon on the other of the sleep tracker for the header. But now, like in February, I did stars because I wanted it to be more cute and romantic. And this month I decided to do two beehives, one on either side of the header and a tiny little uh, honeybee. And rather than actually writing the words sleep tracker as I usually do, I wrote down sweet dreams. But I figure I'm well enough acquainted with my sleep tracker, I know what it is, I can recognize it in my bullet journal so I don't need to actually give it an accurate title. I figured sweet dreams would fit in with like the idea of honey and honeybees, so uh, that's what I wrote. Over here I'm pretty much just writing in the numbers and the initials of the days of the week like I always do. For my habits and mood header, I have under habits, I have one of those things, I have no idea what they're called, but they're like those little wooden things that look like a beehive that you use to serve honey. Let me know if you guys know what this thing is called, but um, I decided that I wanted to incorporate one of those just because I didn't have one in the spread and it does fit in with the theme. And then underneath mood, I have a sunflower. Since the drawings I did for the header in the habit and mood trackers were a little bit more detailed, I decided to just go for a really, really boring and simple font, nothing fancy at all. I forgot to dash my T in habits, but it's okay because I remembered later. <laughs> and again, just writing in the numbers and the days of the week down the middle. And I have 12 habits and 12 moods that I track. I split the habits into threes and just decided to color code them in groups of three. Unfortunately, the footage is a little bit out of focus and blurry. I think my camera was confused as I was writing in the habits that I am tracking this month. 
And as usual, my mood tracker is color coded with like the full rainbow. I just like to be able to track a lot of different emotions and a lot of different feelings. And with 12 different moods to track, it gets way too confusing and overwhelming if you don't use a well-established color code. Alright, so I just dashed my tea and now I'm moving on to my weekly spread. I just wanted to show you guys what weekly spread I've been using lately. I used this one for all of February and I really enjoyed it. So on the left side, I have space for Monday to Sunday and I'm using that page as a sentence a day or a few sentences a day. So it's kind of like a mini diary where I'll just write like the bare bones of what I did that day. And then on the right side, I have two boxes at the top for highlights and reflections of the week. I have a to-do list at the bottom and in the very bottom teeny tiny little corner, I have my calorie count. So I pretty much just like write in how many calories I ate every day of the week to help me stay on track with my weight gain goal. Okay, and once we're done with the weekly spread, that is it for this month's plan with me. I love the way it turned out. It's very cheerful, it's very cute, it's cohesive. I love the colors that I used. Um, I do wish I had had a brighter yellow Tombow, but I only had the pastel one, uh, but I think it worked out okay. So yeah, thank you guys so much for joining me for this month's plan with me, and now I will hand you guys back over to the outro. Bye! That was it for my March plan with me video. I hope you guys loved the spreads. I know I did. Again, I wish everybody an amazing month of March, an amazing spring, an amazing year. Like I said, I'm turning 20 this month. Not excited, not prepared, but we're just gonna have to go with the flow and hope that my 20s are awesome. If you like this video, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat for more. And you can donate to my Patreon down below to support me and my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!